Semi-finals about to unfold. Jangelini, Yelini, Jangelini Jimenez of Cuba. Here he is against Nadri de Baran. idea of how big these guys are just have a look at them next to the referee there Jimenez in Cuba 37 years of age third in London Paralympic Games second in the World Championships That's exactly what he's got to do here. Nadri has to stay on the move, having his sleeve dominated. Left against right. Have a look at the W effect there from the legs. You can see that makes it awkward to hit the target. Taekwondo, you'd call that an open stance. Different if you've got left against left or right against right. Each one of these fighters has the opposite foot forwards. And it makes it very difficult to hit the target. No attack yet from Nadri, nothing at all. time An attempt at a forward technique there from Jimenez Jimenez though let go of the hands of a Shido penalty here, I think. So a Shido penalty goes up to Nadri. Not attacking. Hasn't attacked at all. Joe Guy called every time they go close to the edge of the area. Just gives them warning and then they turn back into the center of the yellow area. Both B2 classification, so both a little bit of perceptive sight, sometimes certain lights. the heavyweight division. Keeps letting go with that right hand, Jimenez.
But every time they break, they have to come back to the middle, readjust their grips. It's not always the same grips that they're taking. The referee directs that. And then, as soon as they start, they readjust the grips, but they've got to keep two hands on. Well, very stiff arms from both, actually. Both physically very, very strong. You can see that. Five-minute contest for the men. So into the last two minutes here with these two. to get that seen to by the doctor. So a tiny bit of blood, they have to go off the mat to the doctor. The doctor will try and stem the blood. But a bit of a strange one actually with blood. They can't stop it. You have two chances. If it's from the same place and they can't stop it, then the contest can be given to the other person. So quite often what happens is, is if it's very simple and they can stop it, fine. But uh, just imagine that the heart's pumping. And sometimes if it's a cut and it's on the head, difficult to stop it so they come back all wrapped up like a mummy and <laughs> they have to stop it otherwise they lose the contest so it's uh, quite interesting really we haven't seen one of those yet Here, Jimenez taking the fight to the Iranian. Now he's got to attack back. One penalty up to Nadri. Good attack. Now he's got a cross grip. Can't have a cross grip. He'll get a second penalty for that if he does it. Good attacking judo. There's the... Hooter that states it's one minute to go. They both know that. Well, it really is amazing attacking judo all the way through this event. Over the three days, it's just been attack after attack after attack. Today, well, we've just seen Ippon after Ippon. Takes that little bit of tape that fell off earlier. Keeps it as a souvenir. of the fighters absolutely giving it their all that really was a terrific match heavyweight belt with everything in it they were really going hammer and tong at each other both attacking 
and that man there, Nadri, gave it everything. It was just a Shido against him, actually, that cost him the match. So Jimenez is going to go into that semi-final with Silva de Arajo. Confirmation. Jimenez through to the semi final. It was a good match. There wasn't a nip on, but there was a lot more. It was quite tactical, but they were both attacking, they were both going for it.